People come to the River Center Plaza in Cromwell to grab some food, donate items, and get their clothes cleaned. Police responded to the Berlin Road complex Sunday for an armed robbery, but it wasn't at one of these businesses. It was in the parking lot. That kind of um, bad things I never heard. A man was meeting two people to sell a pair of shoes in the early afternoon. The shoes were taken by 21-year-old Carmen Rogers, while 20-year-old Julio O'Keefe Kendo pointed a gun at the victim from inside his vehicle. They left and were later found and arrested at their home in Middletown. The two are both being held on bond, facing a number of charges, including robbery and larceny. San Suk Cho co-owns Timely Cleaners in the complex. When I'm shocked and worried. This is a peace parking lot, peace town, and now we have to watch and make sure what's going on around me. Customers were shocked to hear of the crime and say it makes them second guess where they do online exchanges. Well, my parents live in the area, so it's not thrilling because, you know, you feel like you moved to a safe place. And I mean, I know that things happen wherever you go, but you hope that wherever you are is going to be the places around you are safe and that armed robberies are not happening in the middle of a plaza. There are tips police recommend for safe online exchanges. They encourage people to make the transaction during the day in a public space with others nearby. They don't recommend giving out personal information like home addresses. For a while now, I don't think I would ever do something like that, especially not alone. There are no security cameras that capture the parking lot of the complex. Cho says maybe it's time there is. We have to make sure more careful around here. Cromwell police want to remind people of internet purchase exchange locations, which most police departments have their areas under 24 hour video surveillance so anyone who's exchanging items with someone they don't know can do it safely. In Cromwell, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.